what's up guys so man i know this video is long overdue um i actually have some video footage of my trailer getting delivered um you probably see by the thumbnail and the uh, title of the video that i got a new trailer Um, it is kind of messy right now because I'm currently doing a light bar on the side. As you can see right here, I'm gonna mount this thing right here. So we have plenty of light. Last night we did a, a building wash at like 7.30 and it got dark on us pretty quick. So um, I'm gonna do the light bar. That'll give us some light and I'll eventually do uh, some facing every way. That light bar has a strobe effect on it too. So if we're in a, uh, like a high populated area and we need to turn some strobe lights on so people will see where we're at and put some cones out and stuff, then we have that. Um, but let me give you a little tour of the trailer. Like I said, right now, I probably should have waited until I have everything back together, but I wanted to, uh, to do this kind of video of installing the light bar as well. So. I might just throw this all into one um, right now. The bed of my truck is full of chemicals. And uh, yeah, we're staying busy, man, right now. So we've done just, I got this trailer delivered on Saturday morning. It's Tuesday. Um, Saturday night, we did Chick-fil-A. We do that every week. Sunday I did six trash trucks. Yesterday we did a building wash. And then um, today I'm gonna go ahead and put this light bar on and get it ready for uh, anything else we have this week. So uh, I do car detailing as well. I actually just had a guy stop by. We, we're we uh, booked out, um, I don't know what today is. I think it's the first maybe of September. We're booked out until the 19th. So. We stay very busy on uh, car detailing as well, and uh, we do this at night, or if we have an opening in a day and we want to do a house wash, driveway cleaning, whatever, then uh, then we do it. So we stay busy. It's me, I'm the owner, operator, and then I have one guy that works for me. Um, it's just me and him, man. We we stay busy. So let me give you all a quick tour real quick. I'll. Uh, this is my truck. <laughs> this is the bed of my truck. I know I've got to go through here. And I'm actually going to do that today. I got to get all this stuff put up. I've got my uh, my little XJet uh, M5 system right here that uh, I can do house washing with, or I can do um, degreasing or whatever I want with that thing. Um, we used that last night on the building, so I've got to get that cleaned up. Um, got a bunch of like, uh, I believe one of these is that's the airplane and the truck wash. And then we have some uh, degreaser for like concrete driveways. And then we have some like all purpose cleaner. As well as in this, we have um, driveway sealant. So let me start over here. This is my lightning that's being neglected right now. I feel horrible even showing that on camera. But uh, 1999, I'll show you that real quick. 1999, some of y'all have seen it already. Uh, Ford Lightning, yes, it's real. Um, it runs, it just needs a little bit of work. And right now we don't have the time or the space for me to dig into this thing, but we will be getting a shop soon. So it's getting dark on me too. This is my 2014 uh, GMC Denali. This is my baby. Um, and what y'all came here for, this is my 2020 Powerline HG, HD 23 uh, pressure washing trailer. We have a 330 gallon uh, water tank. We've got the hot water system, the uh, the heater coil right there, a 23 horsepower Vanguard electric start motor, general pump. Uh, let's see, we got our gas that runs the uh, the pressure washer, and we got our diesel that runs the burner. 
we have an antifreeze tank, which I don't really need here in Texas. Um, so I'm thinking about doing a little T line, kind of like how that one is. Sorry, you can't see that. Kind of how that one is. I think I'm gonna make this another soap tank or maybe a little, a small bleach tank or something like that. And I'll tie into this. That's our downstream injector. Um, we've got Apollo valves. This one's not, uh, but this is Apollo valve. That's a really good valve, if I don't know. Um, we've got two uh, filters going into the pump. Um, we've got our PSI gauge right there. Uh, let's see, here's our downstream injector. I'll show you that real quick. That's just a little, that's just a little holder for it. So we put that in line uh, just like this and we can downstream so that's how we do our uh that's how we do our uh, chemical washes for chick-fil-a and stuff like that uh, we have our 24 inch surface cleaner uh three bar things bad to the bone we have our hose reels hopefully my phone doesn't get too hot we've got a hundred foot um water hose that feeds the tank we've got 200 foot right here of pressure washing hose and then another 100 foot right here so this system can run two guns at the same time um, we've got our valves right here that cut on the uh, the hoses the lines um, we've got a regular uh, I believe an MTM no yeah just a regular pressure washing gun and then we've got our uh, I think they're called dual, dual lance guns. Um, I'm sure some of y'all have seen these. I'll pull it out real quick and show you. You have this little knob right here where you can turn it to low pressure and high pressure and it draws soap for you. So that's what that is. Um, I got four though. Well, I got two soap dual lances and then two regular guns. And then of course I've got like three other wands. So, uh, yeah, right now, I'm just doing the light bar. Here's my detergent tank, my soap tank where I put all my degreaser or whatever I want in there. We have the Wayne electronic igniter. Um, so yeah, we got our 12 volt battery right there. Our one, this is a 115 burner, by the way. It's not a 12 volt system. So we have our uh, generator right here that pushes the burner. Um, it's a 115 system and then we've got our toolbox here that I keep all my stuff in all my tools So yeah, that's a That's pretty much a little breakdown of the trailer and I'll show y'all um, eventually some actual washing videos uh, I just did a little test on my driveway with the surface cleaner. You can see it did amazing which uh, I have another um, I have a four gallon Simpson and then I've got my BE uh, 20 inch surface cleaner right there that I use and the best pressure washing boots you can buy the hook fishing boots those are awesome uh, they started out white they're turning yellow now so <laughs> it is what it is got all my brushes here and my extension wand right here that goes out to like 24 feet but let me get started on this guys and I'll show y'all kind of as we go and I'll show you the end result. And tonight I'll probably show you how bright this thing is and how it functions. So I uh, didn't record a lot because I started to get rained on. <laughs> um, but this is what I got so far. So I decided rather than mounting it right here low that I was gonna mount it high. Um, this is on my ladder rack, but my ladder should never hit that. Um, the ladder will hang lower. So we'll just have to be careful when we wrap our ladder that we don't hit it. But I don't think it's gonna be an issue up there. Um, this will actually save me money to where I don't have to buy it. Cause I was actually gonna buy one for here and then another one for up here facing that way. But this thing does a 180 um, degree turn. So I actually went through and I heat shrunk. This is just electrical tape to, uh, to keep that connection tight. But um, I went through, used butt splices that had heat shrink on them, uh, heat shrunk those, and then I put a big piece of heat shrink over those two connectors. Um, and then I electrical taped around the connection. So I've got this running right here. I still need to 
cut that right there. But I left a little whip right here to where this thing can flip full uh, 180 to where if I'm pulled up and the building's facing this way, then I have light. If I need to face the light that way, then I have light that way. Um, that'll save me from having to buy another light bar. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with the design. Um, I'm gonna continue to run this down right here. And then I'm gonna come alongside this, go into here, wrap up probably somewhere around here. Um, not sure exactly yet, but then I'll tie into this battery and I have my controller right here to where I can just uh, hit on and off. Um, it kind of makes me feel good to do this kind of work again because I was an electrician for four years, four years plus, maybe four and a half years before I got into pressure washing. So um, it kind of feels good to get back, you know, to doing the kind of stuff that I was used to doing before. And uh, I think it's gonna work out pretty dang good. So it's gonna be nice. Everything wired up, it's all done. Uh, my phone's on one percent so i may cut this a little short and then come back a little bit later um, but as you can see got the wires ran behind this uh square tubing i ran it down with this uh, fill hose all the way down here came up through here and got it tied in battery so got my remote here That's it. And the cool thing is you can do a slow strobe, medium strobe, kind of a strobe like that, or a faster strobe. So, a couple different options. And then you can turn it down, and dim it, whatever you want to do. All right there by remote. So, pretty cool. It's pretty bright too, it's 5,500 lumen. So I'll, uh, I'll stop this now and then I'll bring y'all back out here um, when it's a little bit darker, kind of show you what it looks like. All right guys, so I uh, let my phone charge for a little bit. Um, I got everything wired up. Like I showed you in the last clip, everything's done. Um, I'm actually gonna go over to my dad's house right now and uh, get some stuff from him. And I'm gonna show him the light bar. But yeah, guys, everything's cleaned up. Light bar is right up there. Got the remote. So we'll go ahead and turn this thing on. Check that out. It's still, I mean, it's still daylight out here, so. Pretty stinking bright. Excuse my messy uh, porch, but pretty bright. Let's go to some strobes. It's gonna be nice. So yeah, dim it down. I'm excited about it, man. It's gonna make uh, it's gonna make job sites a lot easier. And once I get uh, my roof ladder, I'll be able to put that up here without hitting that thing. Um, I mean, we'll have to be you know a little careful because I could probably still hit it like if I really try. But the ladder is going to hang down like right here. So it would have been right in the way if I put it down here. And since it's up there, I'll be able to flip it over, which I'll show you all probably tonight. I'll flip it around and light up uh, the neighbor's uh, <laughs> the neighbor's house over there. But yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, let me know what you think. I own a detailing company. And look at my truck. How ridiculous is that?
My truck is so filthy, man. It's ridiculous. But yeah, anyways, thank y'all for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, guys.